It all began in the Garden of Eden. Without even realizing what had happened, the enemy staged a mental break-in. He broke into her mind. He vandalized her image of God. It, think of the, he's, he, of the analogy. He spray-painted graffiti on her image of God. See, Adam and Eve had an image of God. They walked in the garden with God. They knew God. They had interacted with God. And they had this concept of God being a good God, a powerful God, a loving God. And here comes Lucifer and distorts that image. He broke in. He vandalized their image of God. He intentionally defaced God's character in their minds and gave them a choice. In other words, here's what he said. He said to them, paraphrase, you've got God all wrong. You need to see him in a different light. He's holding out on you. If God were good, he would let you eat from this tree. That's what he's saying. So now Adam and Eve have to struggle with doubts. Doubts about God, because now it's not just one idea. He's a good God. Now I have to decide, well, is he good or is he not? You see what just happened? By giving them an alternative, a seed of doubt is planted. Now they have to decide who's telling me the truth. Is God telling me the truth or is Lucifer telling me the truth? That doubt was the key to their fall. It wasn't the sin, but it was a key to the fall. Without even understanding what was happening, he staged that mental break-in, vandalized their picture of God. Now understand this, before the first couple ever sinned, before they ate the forbidden fruit, they entertained doubts about God. That was the beginning of all that they did wrong. They began to question and doubt whether God was holding out on them. That's what Satan did. That's, he said, look, God, God's not being honest with you. He's lying to you. He knows that if you eat from that tree, you're going to be just like him. Don't you want to be like him? That's why he hasn't told you. 